Sonic, the heart of your system. So recently I came across a lot of topics online on a lot of different YouTube channels and also news websites where news websites are reporting that all the RTX 20 Ti's are suddenly dying. And I asked myself, do we really have a problem here? Because being in the position of a distributor, because I'm working full time for Case King, obviously it would be a big problem for us. If all the 2080 Ti's had a problem, we would get a massive amount of returns on the product itself. And also what is even worse for us, if it's a return on a system that we've sold individually to a customer, because then we are responsible for the warranty. We have to take care of the system itself. Especially on Tom's Hardware Germany, I read that apparently there are a lot of topics on Reddit and also on the NVIDIA forums where users are reporting that either they experience black screens on 2080 Ti or that they experience some artifacts, which in my opinion is a very common thing that some GPUs are dying. But you have to keep in mind that we don't see any kind of relation to the real sales figures. So being in a position of a distributor, I can provide the sales figures to you. Well, I could. I'm not allowed to give you the exact sales numbers, but I can give you the percentages of the RMA rate, which I think in this case is even more important. So today I spent some time analyzing some sales figures and compared it with the RMA numbers. You have to keep in mind that as a distributor, we are only selling the partner cards. So we are only selling Asus, MSI, EVGA, Gigabyte, all those partner cards, we are not selling the Founders Edition. That's what I have to make absolutely clear. I cannot make any statement on the 2080 Ti Founders Edition. All the numbers I have only um, apply to the partner cards. What you also have to keep in mind that obviously 1080 and 1080 Ti have been on the market for a much longer time period. So obviously the RMA rate is a lot higher than comparing it to the RTX uh, 2080 or RTX 20 Ti. That's what you have to keep in mind if I give you the RMA numbers now. So for the 1080, um, I can only tell you that it's several thousand units, like a lot of thousand units. So you get kind of an idea how many they are, because if it would only be, let's say 20 pieces, it would not really reflect the real RMA numbers. But since it's several thousand units, um, yeah, I think the RMA numbers should be quite clear. So for the 1080, it's actually fairly high. We had like 7.1% RMA rate on the 1080. So 1080 Ti, again, several thousand units, but you have to keep in mind again, 1080 Ti has not been on the market as long as 1080. So obviously RMA rate is also lower and RMA rate of the 1080 Ti in our case was 4.6%, which is still fairly okay. Considering that, or at least from case king perspective, we consider products with an RMA rate of 3% or less as good. And sometimes we have some products that have like 15 or 20% RMA rate, and then we know that we have a real problem. High-end products, especially high-end GPUs, high-end mainboards often have RMA rates, maybe five to 7%. I've seen that many times. You potentially have a higher source of failure. So a high-end product is more likely to fail than a very low-end motherboard where no components are placed. So that's quite well normal, I would say. For RTX 2080 non-TI, um, we're very close to four figure amount. So I think the number is also quite representative and we have a RMA rate of about 0.17%. And that tells that it's really low. But let's go over to the RTX 20 Ti. And for RTX 20 Ti, it's a bit less quantity than for the RTX 2080, which is obvious, it's a much more expensive product. And the RMA rate from our perspective is 1.4% roughly. So from our perspective, nothing unusual. I also talked to some of our team members who are working full time on the phone all day, talking to customers, and they also said there is nothing unusual. So yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on. From my perspective, a media should not just judge something like this by looking at the forums or looking at Reddit, because let's say Nvidia is selling a million GPUs, and then you have 1000 people complaining on the Nvidia forum that their card is dying. Suddenly everybody is reporting, oh my God, all the RTX 2080 Ti's are dying. But then looking at the percentage of the whole amount of GPUs sold, it's still not much. So I think it's very difficult to judge this without knowing the full situation. Again, I cannot really judge if the RTX 20 Ti Founders Edition has this kind of problem because we are not selling it. We are only selling the partner cards, but I would be really surprised if there was an issue, mainly because it's just the PCB, which is different. And we know that some of the partners like Asus or EVGA are also using the reference design. So I would be really surprised if there was something different 
on the Founders Edition compared to any other vendor. So yeah, I just got this information today, mainly out of my own interest, and I thought I would share it with you. So feel free to share it with your friends, with Reddit, with whoever. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon.